Welcome to the African Album Review Podcast, where we review Africa's best and latest music projects. Africa, Murise. My name is MJ Omota and I welcome you to the African Album Review Podcast. Wherever you are, my people, my people, how you doing? Me, I'm doing all right. October is almost up and um, yeah, I'm doing okay. Can't complain. Uh, <laughs> just life and lifing. But anyway, I'm back on this podcast situation. And you know what that means, an album review. Today, we're taking it to South Africa. And before we get into it, head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash mjomoto and, you know, drop a couple of coins, buy me a coffee or two or three if you do like this podcast, of course, and that helps to keep the lights on. So thank you very much. Otherwise, like I said, let's do this. South Africa, young stunner, no tomato. The latest African album review is... Now, the name Young Stunner might be new to some people, considering that No Tomato is his debut album, but he has been around in the industry for a good, I don't know, six, seven years or so, with less of a profile than he has now. He started off in the hip-hop side of things, and that was him. You check out his previous work, uh, the features that he was on, it was mostly hip-hop records. And then he made the switch to Ama Piano. And he's currently signed to Piano Hub Records under, you know, the tutelage of Cabs at a Small and DJ Maporisa. So you know how that goes. <laughs> but Ama Piano has definitely given him a chance to be a much bigger name. And when he released this album, he had, I think he, it was the number one album on Apple Music South Africa. And um, he had the number one single as well with Adi Wee. Uh, really. um, fire song absolute fire song but let me get into this review let's talk about it let's talk about young stunner with his debut album and it's titled not too much i'm not really sure what it means but i did a bit of digging and um, apparently it means beautiful beginnings and if that's right then this is an amazing album title because what this album is is definitely beautiful beginnings anyway let's talk about it it has 16 songs it was released on i think october 22nd uh, via piano hub like i said and that represents a solid one hour 47 minutes of runtime it has 16 features i hope i counted correctly <laughs> and multiple producer placements including the dangerous talents of uh, Cubs are this more and DJ Maporisa, like I mentioned before, uh, fellow Lit T, Black Motion, and more. No Tomato opens up with the smash it, Adi Willy, Adi Wait. I just love saying that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, which has speaker busting bass, to say the very least. And my ears were absolutely in heaven from track one. And that's what I like when I'm listening to my music, man, I just love it to be so awesome like that. But to put that one as the first track is a tactic that I've heard uh, many people do. Just put your heart a song, bro. Don't even think about it. And that gives people more reason to listen. So this is for the artists. One thing that struck me while listening to No Tomato is the collaborative nature of the entire project. I mean, the fact that there are 16 featured acts on 16 songs and a uh, funny enough on every song you're gonna get you know uh a dj mapori say gonna get a kabza and so forth and some people appear twice like blackie i think uh sleazy and so uh, other people but it's hardly the only ama piano project in this lane you realize that ama piano is such a group effort from the beats to the lyrics and everything else you rarely ever get like you know one person doing it it's usually someone and someone else and someone else and someone else and it's normal it's absolutely normal and i do love that about it so um they work together they don't compete young stana himself is such a great artist first of all lyrically his lines the ones i could understand at least were well well constructed and catchy and i think that comes from the the, the hip-hop side of things as well Delivery wise, he is where uh, is really where he has this unique pocket. He does the equivalent of what I would say is sing rap, but on ama piano, somewhat. Whatever that is, 
it just gives these vocal melodies a good go and that's really what makes it so catchy about the music besides the fact that the beats are fine but i mean it's cabs are this small and dj mapori so yeah there were definitely some production highs of notes on numbers such as uh, city shui which had this water drop sound which is infectiously vivid almost throughout the track especially the first uh, couple of minutes or so it's different but it's genius Big Zulu's verse was surprisingly fire. Totally caught me off guard from his usual style. What I expected to, to hear and what he did, different. The beat on uh, Shaka Zulu was also masterful and it really blends the deep house world with the uh, Ama Piano connection. And I think that's got a lot to do with, I think that's the song of Black Motion actually. Um, and you get to hear how the genres are attached at the hip. Like, Ama Piano is very closely related, Deep House. And then getting a pitched double on the verse, on the first verse and uh, chorus of uh, Shenka was a genius move. It sounded wow. It just gave the delivery a perfect texture. And those are just some of the examples of what makes this album actually stand out. Because when I heard Young Senna has got a debut album, and it's the hottest album out on the day it got out. I was like, well, but I get why. At 16 tracks, I still found it hard to pick clear favorites. The reason being all the tracks are vibey, actually vibey. But I would say for different moods and stages of groove, for those who go to groove, but all vibey. <laughs> Young Stunner basically gave us 16 hits and it's up to us to choose what we do with them. And it's not an it's not a strange um, thing to get with Ama Piano albums as well. Like you know, there might be some songs that you gravitate to more, but you're almost guaranteed, especially when there's um, Cabs and Desmo behind it, and DJ Mapori said that Aish, it's gonna bang start to finish. Ama Piano albums, on the other hand, are typically long, and it's not uncommon for house derivative genres to to be like that the listener is already primed for fairly long songs and instrumentals as well without any 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 vocals so they're not the most demanding um fans there you can give them an instrumental they'll vibe to it you can give them with lyrics and they'll be right there and it can be long and they're there so if it's ranging from four to seven minutes and i mean i'm a piano is easily one of those genres there's no problem and that's why you know it's like one hour 47 minutes of runtime i'd say the average south african amateur piano listener wants those long drawn out build-ups that uh ama piano is famously known for and much to the disappointment of other people like the nigerian side of things because i know like nigerian music fans yo they want the nice part to kick in quick but nah nah that is actually a point of difference between South African Amma Piano and that of other countries, especially uh, the further north and west you go. Um, and as an album, I'd say Notumato is a very well put together piece that um, puts together the best of Kwaito style Amma Piano and um, with a bit of that rapish kind of core and um, the soulful kind as well. Now you're really finding like lately, I think especially 2021 has given rise to the soulful Ama Piano, like where people really go in with the vocals and stuff like that, you know, um, and it's the dudes rather than, you know, getting your shashas and so forth. And this is evident on songs such as uh, Bayeke, uh, Daliwonga gave us the craziest verse we've heard from you. I was like, ah, is this Daliwonga? Yo, you are sounding good, man. Straight up. Um, I mean, yo sounds good, but yo, it was fire. Same can be said for uh, Bula Boot, uh, where Blackie, as much as he is hip hop, um, he is so full as can be. And you know Blackie right now. Yo, who does want Blackie on a record? Bruh, crazy. But he did this thing on uh, No Tomato. Like I said before, of the 16 tracks, I could pick a good 12, man. Actually, you know what? You could just put this album on repeat 
and you're just gonna listen through um, the songs for two hours and just, you don't even know where the time went which is great and I see why people are hyping over it it is it is great it's what you expect an ama piano album to be but with young stunner style and because of so many collabs i'd love to just see what he can do you know with less collabs maybe next time just for his own style to really stick out because he's good but otherwise great album you should totally check it out young stunner no too much Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is M. Jeremoto, son of Zimbabwe, signing out. This was the African Album Review Podcast. Peace. Dende. Moto Moto Music, the best place to listen to podcasts about African music online.